Point number three in the gospel primer is the power of God. Another reason to rehearse the gospel every day to ourselves. The power of God, it, we can think of creation, of when God created the heavens and the earth, that is power. Out of nothing, God created space, time, matter, force, energy. And since then, God shows his strength in holding life together. Not only in our world, every person that lives, every living thing, every plant, every, but also the galaxies and in the universe. If I remember correctly, there's over 300 billion stars in the universe, known stars. Can you imagine the power just to hold one sun in our solar system? But God holds over 300 billion stars in the universe. And we also see God's power in Jesus' miracles. He, you know, his healing, his power to cast out demons, his power to raise the dead, all those things show us the greatness of God. And yet only two things in the Bible are labeled as the power of God. There's Romans 1, 16. For I am not ashamed of the gospel, for it is the power of God to salvation to everyone who believes. But 1 Corinthians 1, chapter 1, also tells us, verse 18, For the word of the, Christ, of the cross is foolishness to those who are perishing, but to us who are being saved, it is the power of God. Uh, it, later on in that chapter, it tells us that Christ, the power of God. Why is the gospel so powerful and why should we meditate on it daily? Because it alone is the power of God to save, to change sinners, once enemies, now seated at God's table as his sons and daughters. There's no one who can save ourselves, not by our good works, but Jesus Christ alone, his life, his death, his resurrection. And just another motivation for us to meditate on the gospel every day. Father, thank you for the reminder that the gospel alone is the power of God. Nothing else in this universe can change us, can impact us, can change a dead man, a dead heart, an enemy of yours into your friend, into your child, into, uh, into a new creation. Father, help us to meditate on and to enjoy this fact today. We pray and ask all this in your son Jesus' name. Amen.